Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulb turning on. Now, it is running on a 70 watt high pressure sodium ballast. I do not recommend this. Running a higher wattage bulb on a lower wattage ballast is not good for the ballast. So I do not recommend doing this at home. So, anyway, let's turn off these lights and let's give this a shot. Here we go. It will have a very hard time striking an arc due to that uh, obviously a 70 watt high pressure sodium tube is a lot smaller than this one. It's about this size compared to the 1000 watt tube. As you can tell it is still trying to strike an arc and uh, that just went out. Either bulb just burned itself out which the bulb was already cycling when I got it so it wasn't good in the first place so we'll turn it off and we'll try again oh we got an arc there for a second we'll try again oh got something as you can tell, the 70 watt high pressure sodium ballast is having a very hard time trying to strike an arc in this bulb. I did get it to light up halfway, but uh, that was probably very hard on the ballast itself. Oh, we're getting something. Let me turn it off and turn it on again. Sometimes that does help. Like I said, I do not recommend you doing this. Okay, that's enough pain that I, I don't want this ballast to go through any more pain. So um, I'm going to just shut it off. I'll turn the other lights back on. So there you go, my 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulb running on a 70 watt high pressure sodium ballast. And like I said, I do not recommend you doing this at home. Do not run a higher wattage bulb on a lower wattage ballast. Only run what the ballast can handle. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.